Let's see. Is it working now? Is it working now? Is it working now? Because before it was not working. Do y'all see me? Does anyone see me? Is anyone up in here? Is anyone up in here? Is anyone up in here? Yeah, y'all, I was trying to go on live before, but it wasn't working. So I think it's working now. I think I fixed it. Yes, what's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Like the video up, like the video up, because we're going to just have a quick conversation. Woo, because I got to get some stuff off my chest. And I wanted to make a video to just address everything that's been happening. My hair is looking a mess. Like, my face low-key looking a mess. Like, y'all, a lot is going on right now. Like, I feel really, really hectic right now. How are y'all feeling? Like, how are y'all doing right now? <laughs> For me, it's like, this is a lot. I am going through a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Hectic. Good. Y'all. I'm like, I just wanted to come on here. I wasn't sure if I wanted to record an actual video or if I just wanted to like make a live, but you know, I'm going to just, I just want to say some things real quick, put this out there. Some messages I've been seeing consistently, some things I've been feeling, some things I've been experiencing and I don't want to waste too many people's time. Like I just want to jump right into it. Like I feel real hectic right now. And is the energy, the energy right now is very, very high. It's very like, Woo! Because, you know, we have the Aquarius full moon tomorrow, but the moon, if you look outside, it's really bright. There, I'm in Florida right now. There's literally supposed to be like a hurricane coming here or something like it. The storm is literally coming right now. And I'm in this hotel. Woo, child, I'm in this hotel and it has been absolutely so scary. I don't know if y'all follow me on Instagram, but the first night that we stayed in this hotel, we literally got locked in our room. Like me, my cousin, we literally got locked in our room. Like the door would not open. Nobody could come in the door. Nobody could come out the door. And this, we realized that we were stuck in here at like 5, 5, 5, 5, 5, 5 a.m., because my cousin was hot, so she wanted to turn down the AC. I mean, turn up the um, the heat. Y'all know what I mean. <laughs> and we could not get out the door. We literally could not get out the door. It was like they literally had to break the door to get us in, like to get us outside the door. Like the hotel people and everything. And the whole time, like we've been feeling all this energy, like all in our bodies. And yesterday. I legit was like in my room trying to go to sleep. And all of a sudden, like my whole body just started shaking. Like my whole body just started shaking like all over. I could not stop shaking whatsoever. And I was trying to, it wasn't like I was scared. I was trying to calm down. And I, it was like, I was, my brain was calm, but my body was just like shaking. And I was like, yo, and I was trying to figure out ways to like stop the shaking and stuff of that nature. And I just felt energy circulating all throughout my body. And then I went into the shower because I'm like, maybe water is going to calm me down, you know, but I try to go take a shower just to like relax. And I'm like, I'm shaking. I'm like, oh, yo, am I having a seizure? Like what is happening? But I was like completely like conscious and everything. But I kid you not, I'm in the shower. The door is closed. And this door right here, like that you can get inside our room with. I kid you not, I hear the door like slam, like this door slam shut. And then the shakes just stopped. And then I was like, and I walked out and I told my cousin, I was like, yo, did you just come into the room? Like, did you just slam the door? And she was like, no, like she was on the phone. And I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what? 
what in the world like yo this room is crazy like this room is crazy i don't know what's happening right now but the energy is hectic the energy is high um i just wanted to make sure everyone needs to understand this very clearly like there is a lot of stuff happening like energetically like i'm really famous for experiencing <sighs> Like, I guess experiencing what's going to happen in the world before it actually happens. And I've been feeling this energy build up like for a very long time since about last week. I had the same shake attack, too. But the only thing that helped me when I was having the shakes and stuff was to go outside and walk on the grass and like really ground myself and anchor myself into the ground that as well as black tourmaline because legit i'm like my whole body was shaking and i could not relax and then i literally the only thing that helped me was walking outside and like imagining out of my feet some branches and roots rooting me and anchoring me into the earth and legit Y'all, like, with this full moon, like, with this full moon, like, because Aqu it's an Aquarius full moon, it's making aspects to Uranus, I'm pretty sure. And, like, obviously, like, involving the sun and stuff that nature, there's an opposition. Yo, expect the unexpected. Like, expect the unexpected. Everyone, especially if you have a lot of Aquarius in your chart, if you have a lot of Leo in your chart, expect the complete unexpected. Everybody is in for some surprises, but literally, Uranus in the picture is like random things, random good things, random bad things. You want to make sure that you're treading lightly at this time, and specifically, you want to make sure that you're grounded. Because I have a tendency to love going up and like always experiencing energy, being very psychic and stuff of that nature. But we have to get back to earth. We have to ground ourselves. We have to think about our security. We have to get back into our root chakra. We have to think about our security. We have to think about our safety. We have to think about our money. We have we should have money in our bank accounts. We should be having food stocked up. Okay. We should have water in our houses. We need to make sure that we are safe. We need to make sure that we are spending time outside in nature and grounding ourselves like on a daily basis because like I said I don't know what's about to happen I don't know what's happening right now but it's hectic like it is a hectic energy that is among us and a lot of the stuff that I see oh wow wow I the first thing I open up when I go on Instagram I see um Frank Ocean's little brother just passed away. RIP. That is so tragic. Oh my gosh, that is so tragic. Yo, I, I think I have his chart on my um I think I have his chart on my uh my app. Let me see his chart. Cause I believe he's a Scorpio rising. Yeah, so he's a yeah, he is a Scorpio rising. So yeah, that's half oh Yo, I think he's a Scorpio rising, so he's literally having the moon. His moon is going the moon, the full moon is going to be hitting his third house. Third house is the house of siblings. Oh my god, he died in a car crash. That's random as fuck. Yo, yo, this energy, yo, anything could happen with this energy, yo. Anything could happen with this energy, yo, like. Y'all need to be careful. Y'all need to be careful when you go outside. Like, anything could pop up. It's going to, with this full moon, like, it's obviously going to hit different um, houses of our charts. So we're all going to be affected in different ways. Some people are going to be affected with their brain. Like, maybe y'all have, like, awakening and epiphany moment. Some of y'all is going to be y'all relationships. Like, you're going to have a, like, you know what? I don't want to be in this relationship anymore. Or I do want to be in a relationship you know what I'm saying? Some of y'all, it's going to be with like your job, a sudden crisis in your job, or maybe some people on the positive side are going to be like elevated with Aquarius energy. Aquarius energy is about our friendships. It's about groups of people, and it's going to be in opposition with the sun, and the sun's currently in Leo. 
So the sun is, I feel like the sun is representing people in power, okay, the kings, the government, people of the authority. Aquarius is going to represent the groups of people because we saw that even with um, all of the riots and the protests. Aquarius is representing that energy of kind of like the um, the people, you know what I'm saying? The groups of people, the masses. So with the opposition, I think that there's going to be something in place. You know what? Aquarius is also the internet. Aquarius is also the internet. So that could even have something to do with like, maybe something happens with the internet. Oh, maybe on that little TikTok thing. Remember they're trying to like ban TikTok or whatever the case is. But it's something going to be happening where the people are not going to agree with what the government is doing. And then there's going to be some opposition or with people in power. This There's going to be some type of disagreement, some type of random like changes and stuff of that nature. Mm, something I feel like something's gonna pop off, especially in the middle of August. I think that there's gonna be something else that pops off. If y'all don't know, my it says uh, the connection is unstable. Please play it while we try to reconnect. Can y'all still hear me? Can y'all still hear me right now? Comment, comment something if y'all can still hear me because it says it said that it went out. Okay. Okay, this person. You can hear me? Okay. Legit. Woo! Y'all can hear me. Woo! Y'all, when I say, I'm like... <laughs> like, you know, y'all don't know, I'm a Leo. Like, I'm a Leo, and I do have some Aquarius energy in my chart, too. So, I'm feeling this really heavy. Sun is currently opposing my Uranus right now. So, it's like... Oh, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. I feel the energy. I feel the energy heavy. And yeah, y'all, I don't know what I was saying before, but yo, there's going to be in each and every one of our lives, there's going to be some type of random change, some type of unexpected news, some type of unexpected situation. And like I said, there's a lot of energy for people that are like prone to anxiety and like being nervous and stuff of that nature. You want to ground yourself on a daily basis. You want to ground yourself on a daily basis by going outside in nature if you can, because I know like I know where I'm at. Like, you know, it's literally like a hurricane outside, so you can't always go outside. I'm still going outside anyway <laughs> oh y'all gonna love me today because i'm still going outside anyway in that storm you know what i'm saying you definitely want to oh look pablo my father said i'm smudging right now you want to smudge your energy okay you want to smudge your energy you want to clear your energy get some sage get some palo santo get stuff of that nature and if you feel like you need to do even heavier cleanse then you need to research how you can cleanse your space heavier on a heavier level you know what i'm saying but also while I'm here, I want to tell y'all, because I'm about to make a video about this as well. In general, everyone needs to be protecting themselves. So first thing, when it comes to protection, you want to get spiritually protected, take some spiritual baths, get hiss up. Hiss up is good for spiritual cleansing. And when it comes to like protecting yourself, you want to get some black tourmaline, any type of black crystals. Literally, when I was having an anxiety attack or that energy overload or whatever the case was, the only thing that was helping me at first was black tourmaline. When I held on to my black tourmaline, I stopped the shakes. And that's when um, it happened. And somebody said, how do you know what house this will hit in? Um, basically, you can look at it. There's a lot of apps you can look at. I don't know if I can... Um, um, here's, I'm going to tell y'all a little like astrology thing that y'all can do if you ever want to calculate what house the moon is going to be like. This is, let me make sure you can see this. Can you see the screen? Hello? Hello? Damn. Can we see it now? I count it. Okay. I don't know if you all could see this, but this is a list of the astrological components. So you want to look based on based on your rising sign. You want to look based off your rising sign. I like to just count. So basically, all you have to do, you take your rising sign. Who is this person? You uh uh. So yeah, you take you look at your rising sign. Correct. Oh my god! I wish I could just show it somehow. Can I show it somehow? I don't know. 
But you take your rising sign. So let's say you're Aries rising. The full moon is going to be happening in Aquarius. So you would count first house, second house, third house, fourth house, fifth house, sixth house, seventh house, eighth house, ninth house, tenth house, eleventh house. So for the Aries rising, your your uh, the full moon is going to be hitting the your eleventh house. So that's going to be talking about friendships. That's going to be talking about, you know, groups of people, the masses, the internet and stuff of that nature, organizations. So all you have to do is just count based off, of, um, you know, your rising sign, because that's going to be the most accurate thing in terms of predictions. You know what I'm saying? For Leo's, it's going to be like in the seventh house. Aquarius is going to obviously be in the first. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then you could just go look based off of all that thing. But if y'all want me to make a video about this or um, I can make some type of post about um, like I'll write it out, type it out with how with sorry, y'all. <sighs> I'll make some type of post to kind of type out um, what's going to happen in terms of this full moon, either like on my Patreon or something like that. Like, I'll let y'all know, like, if y'all want me to do that, I'll do it. What is going on with this person? What is happening? Is there any moderators in here? Is there any moderators in here? Like, or if somebody wants to be a moderator, let me know. Cause like, who is this person? I hate when people do stuff like this. Like, what is your, what is your, what's your problem? What's your problem? Cause I can't even type on their name. <laughs> I can't even click on their name. Let me add some moderators. I'll be a moderator. Who else need to be a moderator? Uh, ooh, it's moving so fast. It's moving so fast. Okay, I'll add some moderators. All right, y'all. I just gave some people some wrenches because uh-uh, we cannot be having all of that. We cannot be having all of that, okay? Legit. I hate I hate when people do stuff like that. Like, why you come here to kill the vibe? Like, for what? <laughs> What's the reason? What's the reason? But back on track. Back on track. Um, you can literally just see whatever house is going to be affecting you in. I wish I wrote it down before I even got on live, but um I know for a fact, like for Scorpios, obviously we just figured out it's gonna be happening in the third house. You know, third house is the house of your siblings. It's the house of your neighbors. It's the house of like your cousins and people like that. You know what I'm saying? Um, Aries is happening in your friendships, your friendships, your group associations, your people. Expect random changes with your friends. And like, obviously, like we just saw with um, Frank Ocean, lit his brother literally just passed away in a car crash. You know, that is the third house. Re a very random, sudden event. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't have to necessarily always be dramatic and sad, but it can also, it definitely also can be, but it just kind of depends on, you know, where you're at in life and what's going to manifest there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Taurus is going to happen in your career, your career, your public image, your group associate, not your group association, your career, your public image. Okay. Your reputation, very drastic changes in your reputation and the way people view you, your online persona, your online presence, stuff of that nature. And also the 10th house can deal with like our father, okay? Our father and our like authority figures in life, a lot of random changes in that type of, you know, aspect. Uh, yeah, this is nine. Gemini is gonna be your belief system, your belief system and your philosophy of life, religion, how you view the world. Okay, Cancer, ooh. Mm. Yeah, Cancer, yeah, of course. Cancer is gonna be the eighth house. With Cancer, y'all better watch it. <laughs> y'all better watch it. <laughs> y'all better be safe, okay? Because eighth house is the house of death and rebirth. Eighth house is the house of death and rebirth. It's about sudden transformation, okay? It's about sudden 
transformations and it's when your whole world just gets upside down. Okay. And that makes sense because we have had the energies of the full moons and the uh, eclipses and cancer and Capricorn. So it makes sense, but whoo, your whole world can get upside down. Other people's money, shared resources. Um, for some people, if you're older, it could be like your marriage partner and stuff of that nature. Leo is going to be happening when it comes to your partner. Okay. Um, partners, if you're in a relationship, sudden changes in your relationship. Okay. Whether maybe you suddenly get into a relationship, you suddenly leave a relationship. Okay. Then you also have kind of like ups and downs in your relationship. It's commitments. Any, it's, it's other people in your life in general, like another person in your life. It could be a friend. It could be a business partner, stuff of that nature. You know what I'm saying? Let me see. Where is this? Let me see what else is going on. Oh, yeah, duh. Six house. <laughs> I always got to count, y'all. Like, I'm really like, a, I got to go. <laughs> but yeah, Virgo is going to be happening in the six house. With Virgos, y'all can expect... Six house is like your health. It's your it's your daily routines. It's like basically your um, it could even be your work. So you could you can expect sudden changes in your work, your day, your health, your daily routines. Something's gonna knock you off balance when it comes to that. Maybe you're used to waking up at six a.m. every day, but all of a sudden you just waking up at twelve, and then you know. But <laughs> it just depends. You know. Here we go again. Here we. Go. have kids in your life okay this is happening with anything to do with love and romance okay girlfriends and boyfriends this is dealing with like casual dating okay stuff of that nature um anytime where we're having a lot of fun okay <laughs> a lot of fun but for, for people in your life this is really representing like kids younger kids and stuff and people like that let me see Any, anybody else who can represent boyfriends girlfriends yeah yeah, we could just leave it there because it's most likely going to be children. Um, Scorpios, Scorpio Risings, for the majority of Scorpio Risings, is it's going to be like fourth house energy. Yeah. Yeah, for the majority of Scorpio Risings, it's going to be majority fourth house energy. Some people it's going to be three. It's going to be like third house. So um, your family, sudden changes in your family, in your house in your home, your mom, okay, anybody like that, you can expect sudden changes, sudden like, woo, realizations, and a lot of swift energy in your home life, your family life, your home, um, people in your family, and maybe even your mo mother specifically, you know what I mean? Sagittarius is, it's going to be the third house, so that is literally kind of just like, um, you know, your cousins, your siblings, your neighbors, um, people like that. Um, it can also be like short distance trips. So it's like you go all the way here, you go to the store, you come back from the store, you come home. Those short trips that you do every single day, there could be some interesting things involving that type of situation. And it is going to be looking kind of at the ninth house too. So sometimes anything involving travel could be like off balance. Okay. Travel could be off balance and Anytime we're like, in a, sometimes even cars, okay, issues with the car and oop, issues with the car and stuff like that could definitely be a factor there with it being in the third house. Communication, saying the wrong thing, okay, saying the wrong thing at the wrong time, you know what I'm saying? Um, anytime you're writing something, it could just be, but people just in your daily environment, you could be in a fight. Like for me specifically, I'm a sad rising. And in the past couple of days, I've had a lot of fights with my cousin. I've had a lot of fights with my cousin, and that's I think that's a product of that, basically. Obviously, Capricorn, this is going to be hitting your money. So sudden changes in your money situation and your financial situation, whether you gain a lot of money or lose a lot of money, okay, with your physical possessions, the thing that you own, things that you own, things that you buy, or things that are just in your like possession, this is where you can see sudden changes, ups and downs, okay, things coming to fruition, stuff of that nature. It could be a good thing or a bad thing. It depends on what's going on in your life. But yeah, definitely this is happening in your second house. Aquarius is, <laughs> y'all are going to be feeling this. Y'all are going to be feeling this the most in your body, okay, in your body, your whole overall life direction, okay? Some of you guys are going to have epiphany moments. You're going to wake up and be like, 
you know what? I'm not this person anymore. I'm somebody else completely. And I'm going to do this. I'm going to chop off my hair. I'm going to go over here. I'm going to move to Japan. It could also be in your relationships because it is kind of always looking at the seventh house. Okay. So it could also be changes in your relationships and stuff of that nature, sudden awakenings in your relationship life and stuff and just friendships and people, your best friend, you know, stuff of that nature. But just sudden epiphanies about your life and your goals and what you want to do with your life. You know what I'm saying? And then Pisces is going to be happening in your 12th house. So this is that's a little bit intense, actually. That's a little bit intense because Pi because the, the, the this energy. Hold on, is it? Wait, yeah, no, 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 it's not. Wait, is it? Hold on. <laughs> yeah, it's like so. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's having a 12 house. If I didn't already say 12, it's having a 12 house. This is your subconscious mind. It's your spirituality, okay? It's things that are unseen. For y'all, it's probably going to be psychic experiences and spiritual experiences and stuff of that nature that kind of, like, could be a little chaotic. Like, me specifically, legit, having moments where I'm literally trapped I'm literally trapped, like we were literally trapped in our room for no reason. And it literally was a spirit. But yeah, in general, y'all, a lot of changes, a lot of unexpected unexpected events, sudden ups and downs, twists and turns on the collective and in our personal lives. And just understand that there's a lot of energy right now at our disposal. So with a lot of energy at our disposal right now, you want to make sure that you're grounding yourself. You want to make sure that you're grounding yourself with, um, ooh, sorry, I just saw something. <laughs> you wanna ooh, relax, meditate, calm down, okay? Calm down, go outside in nature every single day, barefoot, hug a tree, walk outside every single day because that's going to help you when it comes to any anxiety, anything that's going to happen. And for all my people out there, this is going to be a pre-warning. You want to stock up your house. You want to stock up your house. Don't be like an asshole and buy everything in the store and stuff of that nature and not save anything for other people. But definitely make sure you have water in your house. Definitely make sure you have food in your house, okay, cans and stuff of that nature. Um if y'all have not already started investigating this stuff, um, start investigating cryptocurrency because the thing about it is our dollar is not going to be worth anything <laughs> at some point. So you want to definitely have cryptocurrency and like get into Bitcoin and just stuff of that nature. Precious metals, okay, valuables and everyone, which you guys all need to understand no matter how old you are, no matter how old you are, whatever the case it is, you need to have a skill. You got to have a skill right now. It's going with the node shifting from, you know, <clears throat> into Gemini and then South Node Sagittarius. It's going to be less about college. And I know that could be triggering for a lot of people. I know that could be a very triggering experience with a lot of people. But it's going to be less about your college education and what you know on that college level. It's going to be more about the skills that you have and the practical things that you can do. And the stuff that you can do that is going to be valuable. It's going to be less about college. So for sure, you guys need to have a practical skill. Okay? You need to know how to do things like that could actually make you money. Okay? Or that could... And also just in general for like obvious things like gardening. Learn how to garden. Okay? Learn how to grow your own food. Learn how to build things. Learn how to put things together. This is what you need to understand going into these times because we're about to e we're about to enter very heavy times. So you want to make sure that you stay prepared. Okay? And you can also learn even like, you know, um, less practical things too because the more things that you can do, the better it's going to be. So any interests, any hobbies, you want to do that. And this is the perfect time to do it where we all don't have to necessarily be in school and stuff of that nature. You need to be going on the internet and you need to like go online, like look up like courses, online courses, Udemy, like U-D-E-M-Y.com. You could find 
tons of like super cheap courses on there. They always have in a sale, learning how to do basic things, anything you want to learn how to do, whether it's yoga, whether it's like cr coming up with a website, whether it's like um, herbalism, meditation, anything. You want to look on Udemy and start knowing how to do things, okay? Start knowing how to do things and, no and learning about the different things because the more that you know, the more valuable you're going to be at in these times. It's going to be less about your college education. So definitely look into that. Online courses, they can, you can find it so cheap. I also would also recommend Skillshare. I'm literally sponsored by them. I'm going to drop that in a video tomorrow. But Skillshare is another website you can go on to learn how to do things online. You know what I'm saying? So because the more that you do that, the more that you're going to see basically. Because it's like you, we're entering really unstable times. And honestly, y'all, it's going to be less about even being hired. And it's going to be more about being entrepreneurs. So if we're not entrepreneurs we don't know we don't have any skills we don't have any interests we don't have any passions we don't have any hobbies we are going to suffer at this time and you guys need to be in tune with your intuition and your intuitive knowing and you want to make sure that the you the people around you are people that you actually can trust and rely on because you at this the where we're going, you don't want to be around people that are wishy-washy because people are going to get really desperate People are going to get very desperate and they're going to have there. It's going to people are going to be more likely to betray you. So you want to make sure the people around you are solid, are genuine and actually care so that you guys can get so we can all get through these times together, you know, and really be able to just be OK. You know what I'm saying? So any of those friends that are wishy washy. Any of those people in your life that are wishy-washy, you don't really know where they stand, cut the ties right now. Protect yourself of their energy. Cut off people that need to be cut off from your life or the universe is going to do it for you. And, you know, just know that this warning is very, very valid, okay? And it's like this warning right now, this moment that you're hearing this message right now is so important. You're not hearing this for no reason. Start preparing. And even if nothing happens, at least you already have stuff in your house for anything. Because you never know what anything's going to happen. We already have seen 2020. 2020 is has been absolutely crazy. It has been absolutely insane. But we all should know that it's happening for the higher purpose and the higher reasoning of reshaping the way that we live. And a lot of people are getting their karma. A lot of key, a lot of people are getting their karma handed to them. People in power, you're going to see people in power come down, crumble. And like I said, Saturn, Pluto, this is death and rebirth energy. People are going to die. There's going to be chaos. There's going to be those more random moments and stuff of that nature. I would even throw out there, it's probably going to be aliens, aliens and stuff like that. Okay, some. <laughs> something, but definitely... You're going to notice that people in society, they're going to keep on, people are going to get handed their karma. People are going to receive their karma right now. So if anything has been done in the dark and it's been done in the dark for all this time, it is being exposed. People are getting exposed. Okay. People are dying. People are getting, going to be thrown in jail. Like, yo, mama earth is not playing with any of us right now. So you definitely... You definitely want to make sure that you are being a solid human being and a solid person. And I know everyone says, be a good person, da 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 da. But really do the right thing. Because if you do the right thing, you will not be affected. You will be protected at this time. But if you out here doing wrong, you out here doing negative stuff all day, you out here hurting people, you out here doing shady stuff behind closed doors, you will get your throat cut open right now. You will legit get murked right now. And maybe not always like a literal, maybe not always like a literal murk, <laughs> but legit, you going to get your ass handed to you. Okay. You going to get your booty tail handed to you. And the reason why stuff is happening right now is because people, they're trying to prolong the current, like they're trying to prolong the basically 
just coming down of everyone who's been in power that's been doing negative stuff. They're trying to like prolong it so that it doesn't happen. But literally all these distractions and stuff, you need to pay attention. It's only there so that they can pr try to prolong what's the what's going to happen. The inevitable is going to happen. People are getting their ass, ass handed to them right now. So it's like just to stay clear, be a good person, keep good people around you. Just like J. Dot said, don't take the vaccine. I wouldn't say take the vaccine. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. Boost the immune system. Keep on boosting your immune system. We hear all of this stuff about medication and how to cure the virus and how to do X, Y, and Z. But the thing about it is I never once heard of people on the news talk about anything about actually, actually, like, boosting your immune system. I've never heard anybody on the news talk about that. And that is going to be the best thing that you honestly can do to protect yourself against any disease. You know what I'm saying? You got to boost your immune system. So you need to be eating your vegetables. You need to be getting your sleep. Okay. You need to be eating zinc, you know, cause I had asked my spirit, yo, like what is the cure to the virus? I asked my spirit and my ancestors told me, you need to be eating asparagus, As <laughs> asparagus. So I've been eating asparagus and I later found out that asparagus is actually associated with, um, it's, can, it's like a high in zinc. And I've been hearing a lot of rumors saying that zinc is good for when it comes to this virus and protecting yourself against this virus. Turmeric, okay, definitely always be, um, always be eating the right foods and stuff of that nature. And yeah, I'm gonna keep on eating asparagus for me specifically because that's what my ancestors told me. I don't know. You know, that's just what it is. <laughs> but yeah, somebody said zinc is the cure for real. Somebody said, oop, I got asparagus. <laughs> yeah, y'all, y'all better eat you some asparagus. Okay, eat you some asparagus. Eat all your greens. Eat all your greeny foods and stuff of that nature. Boost, boosting your, I have an um, a Amazon link to everything that I take on a daily basis to like boost my immune system. Conjure Queen, if, I don't know if y'all know her. She was just talking about um, something that y'all can do in terms of your immune system. I've heard, I've heard Ashira talk about this too. But um, silver, taking you can get um, silver online, like literal, like liquid silver. You could put that in your drink and drink that on a daily basis. That's also good for your um, immune system and stuff of that nature. Spirulina and chlorella, okay. All of these things you need to be in taking on a daily basis. Yes, yeah, somebody said euchanasia, mm -hmm. vitamin C, and and also of course vitamin D, like. A lot of people are like, I'm afraid of going outside and X, Y, and Z. What you afraid of going outside for? You better go outside underneath the sun. You better go outside underneath the sun because that is something that is going to boost your immune system. You're actually more likely to get sick, like literally scientifically. You're more likely to get sick if you stay inside all the time because you're in the same place. First of all, you're not getting any access to sunlight. First of all, a lot of times you're more likely to get depressed. Depression leads to more um, lessening of your immune system. So you're more likely to get sick when you stay inside. Also, you're around the same space and the same germs every single day. So it's kind of like you're more likely to get sick. So you need to also get some sunlight. You need to get some fresh air. You need to be exercising and stuff of that nature because that is going to boost your immune system at this time. You know what I'm saying? Because... That's the freaking, that's what you got to be focusing on. All this panic and like vaccine stuff, that's secondary. But the first thing you always do is boost your immune system. Yes, vitamin C, vitamin D, stuff of that nature. You need to, if you have a strong, oh yeah, elderberry, that's another one. Elderberry. If you boost your immune system, somebody said, we're forced to go to school. Other people will be carrying the virus. So how I protect myself? The but the best thing that you can do is boost your immune system. That is your body's natural way of protecting itself from you know illness and stuff of that nature. So if you boost your immune system, that is something that you can do to protect yourself against any virus or anything. Because I'm not gonna come on here and tell you that the virus doesn't exist and that like it's fake. Because I I think that it is real, obviously, and I think that it is affecting people and stuff of that nature. R.I.P. to everybody who's died because of the coronavirus and stuff. Mm, I wasn't trying to say it because of the virus and stuff of that nature, but um, 
I also think that there's certain things that I think it's also very, it's, there's a political agenda behind it as well at the same time. And there's something fishy about the whole situation, obviously, like as we, I feel like all of us pretty much know, especially if you're watching me, I think you guys pretty much know that there's other stuff going on. Okay. So open up the windows. Don't be having your windows closed all day. Make sure the sunlight is coming in because even that is good for clearing away negative energies. Notice how people who never get sunlight in their, you know, cities and their environments in their homes, usually they're more depressed and more sad because the sun is actually going to uplift you and clearing like and it helps when it comes to clearing energies and stuff of that nature. Well, did I post something on my YouTube channel? What are people talking about? What's the people talking about? What's people talking about my YouTube channel right here? Oopsie. Oh, yeah, I had a video up here. Let me delete this video. People are going to be mad confused. Let me put this on private real quick. Yeah. But, yeah, y'all. That's what I wanted to talk about. Energy is, the energy is crazy right now. It's very hectic. <sighs> Your girl has been <laughs> like literally shaking and stuff of that nature. So I just want to tell you all about that and everything. Let me see if I missed anything. Somebody said I'm BRB about to go meditate. Yes. Oh yeah, they gonna both, they gonna go back to where they came from. A few days ago, I had a dream of Rasta warning me to prepare water and food so your message res resonates. This planet giving me anxiety, sis. Child, this planet giving me anxiety too. <laughs> Yo, I really be sitting here like mad because I'm like I'm really sensitive to like everyone and like the collective's energy. Ooh, it was one, one, one likes. But yeah, I'm like really sensitive to the collective and everyone's energy. So as soon as something pop off in the world or like even before it pops off in the world, I feel it. And I feel, I feel spirit a lot of the times in my body. You know what I'm saying? I have my moon in the sixth house of like my health and like everything. So I feel that stuff very heavily in my body. <laughs> so I'm like, listen, we all got to calm down because or else I'm going to be struggling. Okay. I'm going to be like, yo, relax. Everybody relax, relax, relax. <laughs> but you can't, but sometimes you just kind of got to surrender to the moment and understand that this too shall pass. And I've had to understand that many times, you know, when stuff is happening in the world and you feel like it's where it's completely out of our control. Sometimes you don't want to try to control anything. You just surrender to the present moment and know that it is going to pass and know that there is a higher purpose to everything that is happening in front of us, okay? And everything that we are experiencing, we can see it in the transits. We can feel it too in our souls. We know what's going on. A lot of the people that know what's going on, ooh, I just felt the ground. Mm. Yeah, a lot of people that know what's going on, we know that, we know that um, it's the, there's an awakening. There's a complete restart of how we live, how we breathe, who we are as people and our level of consciousness. It's rapidly increasing. And like I said before, with the death comes a rebirth. So everything that's getting wiped out right now, everything that's ending, it's ending so that we can be reborn again. And I feel like we all know this deep down inside. What's my rising sign? Um, I'm a Sagittarius rising. Maybe I should stock up on my anxiety pills and start meditating more. Um, if you need if you need anxiety pills to calm you down, then definitely, I mean, do that. You know, like I just, in this hurricane notification that they just sent us, they said that make sure you have med medication for the next three days. So I would say um, definitely if you can't do, if you can't like kind of calm your anxiety down naturally through meditation, and stuff. I would suggest also, though, try going outside every single day and grounding yourself. And you might see a decrease in your anxiety after a while because it can actually truly help you. Me too. I'm a sad rising and been feeling the same. <laughs> I live in the Caribbean, so basically surrounded by water. Mm. 
you going to be fine. I just broke up with a guy. Help me, guys. You going to be all right. You going to be all right. You going to be just fine, love. It's not the end of the world. Your life going to keep on going. At least, at least you know that that person wasn't right for you. And now that you know that the person wasn't right for you, have time to focus on yourself so that you can figure out who you are. And once you get aligned with who you are, that naturally the person that's meant to be in your life in form of a relationship will appear in front of you because you know who you are first. So you're going to be just fine. You're going to be just fine. <laughs> I'm honestly concerned about what's going to happen after the election. Ciao. Listen. Listen, I'm not even about to get into that conversation right now. I'm not even going. Yeah, it's going to explode. It's going to come down, all right? Yes, she said it happened because it was supposed to happen, sis. True. That's on period. Okay. Call prediction with the Divine Danny. They predicted South Florida, California, New York. Oh my God, who, somebody just tried to comment something and <laughs> you, you tripping. Does seeing black butterflies a lot mean anything? It probably could, that could either be an ancestor. I know black is associated with protection. Black is associated with releasing and purging of energies. And you know, butterflies are representative of transformation. Look at me, I'm rubbing my, my throat chakra. Yeah, it's the butterflies are associated with transformation. So perhaps you're about to enter some kind of transformation of some sort. But also whenever you see synchronicities and the same continuous things come in your life again and again, understand that, that that's a message and in you need to take that moment to just kind of meditate on why, what were you thinking about when you saw that synchronicity? What's been in your mind? What's been going on in your life? Because that is going to be how all of our spirit guides and all of our ancestors, they're going to communicate to us in different ways. And our God language is going to look completely different to somebody else than to you. You know what I'm saying? So it's going to be a very personalized thing. So always go within, figure out what's happening from the inside, outside. <laughs> Everything everybody's getting um everyone is getting signs something is wrong. I've been getting signs stuff is gonna work in my favor. Ashe and in terms of my dreams, that's beautiful. I think that collectively we're going through some really rough times. But I also think, like I said, it's death and rebirth. There's a positive and a negative. You can't have negative without positive, you can't have positive without negative. So without any with any rapid change, there's also going to be kind of that good energy to like to to you as well. Like I said, everyone that's pretty much taking heed to the warnings and are actually putting out good karma, I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised that this year you actually receive excellent karma and good karma for the things that you've been doing. Like I feel like I've been really getting myself together and really like, you know, taking things to the next level as well this year. You know, a lot of people have been like, you know, kind of hectic and kind of going everything and it has been intense. But I have seen like me, myself this year, I have, I'm growing into the woman I was supposed to be. And I feel it, like I feel it every single day. Like every single day, I feel like I'm getting closer and closer to a breakthrough, like it's crazy. <laughs> Girl, you can get this hair online. This is weed. <laughs> Girl, um, Vigrid, I, I kind of just talked all about this full moon like at the beginning of this live. So once it ends, once it ends, you can um check out um what I kind of said before. But basically just expect rapid rapid changes and unexpected changes. Expect the unexpected, okay? And some feelings of opposition. So some feelings of like push and pull energy, right? He said anywhere near water is getting lit. I turn 22 in 11 days. <laughs> I feel like I've been trying to connect with my ancestors more, but I feel like something is blocking it. Keep on trying. Don't give up. Don't stop. Try it in a different way. Try it in a unique way that you haven't necessarily done before. Like I love to meditate, visualize a tree in front of me, and I visualize the tree that's going to represent my family. And I just get into that space, 
calm down. I visualize that tree. I walk closer towards that tree and I hug that tree and I start grabbing branches. And that's how I connect with my ancestors. I start asking questions. Who are you? What's your name? Show me where you're from and stuff of that nature. Give me information about you. And I will literally hear names in my head and like see like little flashes of memories that that person is showing me. And that's how I connect with my ancestors. I don't think it's normal 21st century bringing up so much mental health and stuff, people taking pills and stuff. What is going on with the world, eh? That's true. <laughs> Did I hear about the UFO sightings in Portland? <laughs> no, but I'm not surprised. I've been, to I told y'all this in that video I made. 2020 not playing with nobody. And I told y'all definitely, I think the aliens, oh, my eyelashes are crooked. <laughs> oh, well. I think that aliens are going to be a part of this year. <clears throat> I wouldn't be surprised. Aliens, some type of comet space stuff is going to happen this year. She feels like something is coming. Ooh, yeah, I'm a Sag rising too. If you've been feeling calm, that's a good thing. It's always the calm before the storm, but just know that if you are able to keep your peace at this time, you're very spiritually aligned. You're very spiritually aligned and you're together when it comes to your path, you know? You're a very solid individual and you probably on a higher, your higher self probably is protecting you and your people are probably protecting you. So now your spirit is able to relax and you're probably more balanced as a, as a, you know, as a being. So that's good. And you can still be intuitive. You can be aware that something is about to happen, but you don't necessarily have to be anxious and completely um, scared about it because fear is not going to do nothing for you. Fear is just going to, it's going to fuck you up. You know what I'm saying? You want to release your fear. <clears throat> you want to embrace your knowledge. You want to embrace your knowledge of what's going on. And you want to raise your awareness of what's going on. Knowledge is power, but you don't want to fear anything. What's that going to do? What's that going to do? It's not going to do nothing for you. Oh, yeah, that rebirth, that rebirth going to go crazy. I really think that it's going to start in 2022, though. Maybe 2021, but I think that rebirth really going to start around 2022. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe it's my rebirth, but I think that I think that it's going to start getting good 2022. It's just crazy how, like, this is really, like, a new decade, and it started with such a bang. Wow. Like, the, the planets and everything, they're so symbolic. You know what I'm saying? Like... We literally saw all this stuff coming if you looked at the transits January 12th, that Saturn Pluto conjunction. It said reshaping society. And it's crazy, bro. Like, life is crazy, yo. I think this is all like a video game. I treat this whole thing as if it's a video game and I'm in it to win it. <laughs> I'm in it to win it. It's a simulated video game. I feel like August is definitely going to be the calm before the storm. I think that, I don't know. I think that the middle of, middle of August, something going to pop off around my birthday. I think around my birthday, something going to pop off August 14th, middle of August, something like that around there. I don't know why. Maybe even October. <laughs> Somebody said, we are the Sims. Yes, we are. the. Yo, I swear it's crazy. Like, <laughs> do any of y'all like go into a building and like go into your room and you don't know why you went into your room. So you just like walk back outside. And I'm like, yo, that's literally like when you're like <laughs> selecting an, an, an action for your sim and you just cancel the action. And then they're just like, okay, I'm just going to walk back outside. <laughs> literally, like literally. <laughs> Have you ever did psychedelics? Nope. I get too high naturally, even with like weed and stuff. I can't even smoke weed anymore. I've never tried to ask psychedelics. I, I, it's, I've been more open-minded to doing so, but I just haven't gotten, just haven't gotten to it. I haven't been like, yep, mushrooms it is today. Yeah, like I just, I haven't been in that vibe yet. <laughs> Your birthday's in three days. Happy early birthday. Happy early birthday. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, 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 uh. 
Ooh, Janaya or Janaya. I hope I pronounced your name right. What's up, girl? If I'm not mistaken, we're birthday twins. If I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, or close to it, close to it. Y'all be commenting on my YouTube and it just be popping on my phone. I'll be like, what's something I gotta say? What's happening? <laughs> How do I feel about other Leos? Um, I love Leos. I think Leos are powerful. I think that they're amazing people. I think that they're confident. And I think that we get a bad rep of being like, hmm, you know, arrogant and all about ourselves. But I think that we're just creative. I think that we have big hearts. I think that Leos give a lot to people. And I admire Leo's ability to shine their light. And I think that it is admirable for everyone. I think Leo's really do a good job at shining their light and really expressing their creative essence. And I think that is beautiful. Usually when it comes to like Leo men and like relations with them, I don't really like vibe with them that deeply, <laughs> but they're always usually really cute. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jillian. You know what I'm saying? Yes, you can manifest with your heart desires. I tried shrooms once and my power went out for two days. I was tripping balls. <laughs> yo, yo, that is crazy. Yes, we have almost the same birth chart. That reading was amazing. I subscribe to your goddess courses, life changing. Oh, thank you, girl. Thank you, babe. Thank you. And yes, that's what I was saying. I thought you were my birthday Twitter, like where our charts were the same or something like that. <laughs> yes. I think anyone could be together. It depends on if you like being together. <laughs> That's the biggest thing. And to see the full, like, actual compatibility, you have to look at what's going on with the Venus, what's going on with your moon. You know what I'm saying? What's going on with your Mars, your sex life? Like, what's happening? Like, that's how you fully are able to see what's going on, you know? How accurate is sidereal astrology? Sidereal astrology is hella accurate. I don't... I don't do a sidereal astrology. I, I have, like, I've definitely been the person that was like, oh my God, sidereal astrology is it. Everything else is fake. I've definitely been that person. But then I drifted back to Western tropical astrology somewhere along the line. And just from what I've been observing now, man, the accuracy of Western astrology has been pretty accurate for me and in my life. And I think that it's going to be a personal preference that everyone can always like check and do for themselves um I, I i think it really just depends on what your personal preference is me if i look at a birth chart and i look at the sidereal chart versus the um tropical i can still get to the same conclusions based off of getting into the charts in sidereal like i'm a cancer and i'm like hella cancer and with an aries moon and with a scorpio rising and i actually put this poll up on my second instagram i was like which one do I give off more on the internet? And everyone was saying I was more, like, I think 80% of people said I was more like Western. So I'm more like Leo with a Sag rising and a Taurus moon. They sensed that off of me. And I don't know, I don't really relate to my sidereal chart as much like Scorpio rising, Aries moon and um, Cancer sun. I, I don't really, I don't know. I don't know, I don't really. I think that it's another perspective of who you are. And I think that it could be seen as a different perspective of your life and stuff of that nature. But I don't know, for right now, Western feels right to me. So, yeah. <laughs> Somebody said, I'm a sidereal Virgo rising is gross. <laughs> How do you get better at your discern uh, your discernment? Meditate. Meditate often. Meditate every single day. Like, literally, it doesn't have to be for, like, an hour or two. It could literally be for five minutes a day. Meditate for five minutes a day. <sighs> Just breathe in and out, okay? Get into a relaxed state of mind. Get used to asking yourself questions, okay? Like, get used to reflecting upon situations and things. Like, I told people this in this video I made 
how to increase your psychic ability. I was basically like, listen, I ask myself questions every single day, multiple questions about anything. How does this person feel about me? Should I go over here? Should I go here? And I'll instantly hear an answer in my head. And I always go with the first one I hear in my head or the one that feels right to me. And the more that you get in the habit of doing that, the more that you get in the habit of actually relying on your intuition, because pretty much we're all naturally intuitive. It's just a matter of reprogramming your brain to, to think that it's okay to listen to your intuition and to know that it's okay to trust yourself. A lot of us don't trust ourselves and we get messages all the time, but we don't hear it or we shove it aside. But the key is listening to yourself first and learning how to trust yourself. And then also understanding how your intuition speaks. Do you get gut feelings? Do you feel things emotionally? Do you have certain thoughts? Do you feel things in your body? You know what I'm saying? Do you get chills down your spine, chills down your back? You know, like what, how does your intuition speak to you? You wanna definitely start paying more attention to those things. And then that's how you can the more you pay attention to something, the more that it grows. So the more you pay attention to how does my intuition operate, the more that you become more intuitive. Uh, I hope you enjoy your special day as much as I enjoyed my special day yesterday. Oh, happy belated birthday. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm so excited for my birthday. You know what I'm saying? I think that I think it's going to be a good day. Hopefully, hopefully, because I was looking at some of those transits around my birthday, Mars square Pluto. I don't know. I don't know what's going to be happening in the world, but I'm going to be living my best life in my room. <laughs> it reminds me of all the people that had birthdays during like the um, when the pandemic was like super, super bad. And like the coronavirus was like really, 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 really bad. Like it was fresh on the scene. Everyone who had their birthday around then was probably like super sad. Like, dang, what is happening? <laughs> uh, well, you know, we'll see. Cause you know, I don't know if y'all know the, I'm gonna make a video about this too on my birthday actually. I'm gonna talk about the importance of birthdays and what they represent and kind of like your solar return and why it's so important to your life and why you, you need to start paying attention to the circumstances around your birthday. So like the events that are happening around your birthday are going to literally stay with you for the entire year until your solar returns again, until you have your, ne your next birthday. And how, um, why do we celebrate birthdays? We celebrate birthdays so that we can bring in and kind of set the tone for what we want for the entire year that we have until our next birthday. So we celebrate it so we have this good energy, high vibration, so that we can have that every single day and every single month, right? And it grows, right? So I'm gonna talk more about that on my uh on my actual birthday. Cause I don't know, for the last for the last couple birthdays, I haven't really been super active. I've spent most of my birthdays like <laughs> by myself like literally it's like the day of my literal birthday i will spend it like by myself it would be like the days leading up to it i'll be with my friends or my family but actual on my birthday i've always been alone and it's crazy for the past couple years i haven't had that many friends i haven't had that many friends i haven't had that many people around me you know and it's been like a lot of people be like Friends be turning your back and people. I'll be like, I don't even have friends to turn against me because I don't even be talking to nobody. <laughs> so I'm gonna make sure. Baby J wants some friends. Baby J wants some friends. Okay. So I'm gonna make sure on my birthday that I, you know, be around some people, some good high vibe people. I FaceTime some people or something so I can have some friends because I've been lonely. Actually, I like my space. I like my alone time. But I do, I, it would be cool to have like a network of people around me. So if you guys want to be friends with me, you cool peoples, you live in like Los Angeles, you live in Atlanta, you live in Florida, hit me up on Instagram. Hit me up on Instagram at it's baby J or at Jalian or just comment on my picture or something so I can like start looking at y'all pages because I need some friends. I need some friends, especially it'd be so cool to have friends interested in astrology and spirituality. 
and all this beautiful stuff because it's like like you know we we be rare y'all we be in our own world sometimes and i feel like we should all like start connecting with each other and everything right <laughs> wish i lived in la dude yeah i could have internet friends too you could be from anywhere if you really cool people and you're not like on no like fake stuff because i'm gonna sense it on you i'm gonna sense it on you my intuition should be speaking y'all so if you're really cool and like you want to make friends like hit me up hit me up don't be afraid to reach out and stuff of that nature you know literally i literally just moved from Los Angeles. Like I had my apartment. I lived in LA for about four years. And <laughs> I'm talking like I'm never gonna go back, but I might I might go back depending on how things play out. But um yeah, I literally moved out of LA. And um literally last month or last month or something like that. Mm-hmm. And it's crazy. I literally moved out of LA just as soon as I was about to make some new friends and really get close with people. And I was like, dang, that sucks. Like I was just making friends. <laughs> I was just making friends, but I moved out. My, my lease is up and everything. I don't know exactly where I want to move next. I'm, I really like Atlanta. I've been spending a lot of time in Atlanta and you know atlanta i like that I, if i don't go back to la i'm definitely going to spend time in atlanta because those prices on those apartments i could be living lavish in a nice you know area and everything way like i could be living way better than i was living when i was living in los angeles and then plus los angeles be shaking sometimes <laughs> la be shaking I would totally be friends with you. Hey, Sierra girl. I don't have that many friends either, so it feels good to know I'm not alone. Yes, girl, you're not alone. I don't be having friends. You know what I'm saying? I don't be having friends. Hit me up. <laughs> Hit me up. Hit me up. Hit J up. I said Hit J up. Okay? Okay? Let's be friends. Let's make... Come on. Let's have, like, you know, I know... I know, like, I be really, I be trying, y'all. I swear I do. Like, I swear I do. I try my hardest to come on live and to be, you know, like, active and stuff so we can really build this community. But I swear, it's so weird. Being on live, I know I don't act like it at all, but being on live literally gives me anxiety. Like, <laughs> I be anxious as hell. But it just, it works. The thing about it, I used to be on live all the time. Like I, I used to literally go on live all the time. Like I don't know if y'all followed me from my older, like my earlier life on here on YouTube, because you know I'm an OG. I've been like this is my seventh year or eight years having a channel. Yeah, and yeah, I used to go on live all the time on YouTube. I don't know what happened. I got scurry. I don't know what happened, but I'm gonna try. I'm gonna say it one more time. I'm gonna try to come on live more often so we can talk. And like, I'm gonna try to figure out if there's like an app or something where like I can actually start talking to people like FaceTime almost, like FaceTime and stuff of that nature. We can just have conversations, we can have discussions, we can know, we can, we can connect. Cause I'm trying to connect with y'all. It's so crazy that we're literally, like we literally all live in different places all over the world right now. And you are hearing me speak. What? Like some of y'all are probably, y'all. some of y'all probably, one person here probably live in Sweden. Who live in Sweden? Does anybody live in Sweden on here? Can you talk? Oh, you like my hair? Oh my God, thanks guys. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you so much. NYC gang, Florida gang, Michigan. Okay. Okay, where y'all from? Where y'all from? Where, Toronto, Jamaica, Netherlands, Miami. Netherlands, that's far, that's far. Thank you so much, Tatiana. New Zealand, Toronto, okay, um, Massachusetts, that's Massachusetts, MA is Massachusetts. 
right? Watch out. South Carolina, Chicago, New York, Georgia, Alabama, San Francisco, New Jersey, Toronto, California, Tennessee, Netherlands, San Diego, Canada, Ontario, Canada, Pennsylvania, Cali, Las Vegas, Massachusetts. Yo, every time y'all from everybody from Massachusetts, like, do y'all really like be spelling out your 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 place, like where you're from, all the time? Like, do y'all really be spelling out your state? Cause like I feel like that's a long name to just be spelling out. <laughs> South Africa, okay, NYC, but living in Georgia, I feel it. Pittsburgh, Portugal, wow. <laughs> that's what I thought. Like y'all from Massachusetts, like Ma Massachusetts. <laughs> Literally. If y'all ever have to do like one of those things where you have to just like say something really quickly, y'all cannot, y'all can never really rep y'all state. I'm sorry. <laughs> Massachusetts. <laughs> Yo, that's fun. I'm about to say that every single live. I'm be like, anybody from Massachusetts on here? And everybody got to say it. Everybody got to say Massachusetts. The first person to say Massachusetts and spell it all the way out three times, y'all going to get, y'all going to get $5 on Cash App. <laughs> Massachusetts, y'all better y'all better spell it right too. Somebody said I just say mass. <laughs> I heard the pop. Oops. I'm sorry. Does, it, does this annoy y'all? I have a habit of doing that. Cause you see, when I I do a lot of readings on my computer and stuff, and child, I was trying to with these nails. I was trying to like do the click and clicking, but this pen. This is my pen. I'll be on my phone like. I'll be on my computer like. It'd be making it so simple. Massachusetts. Oh, I, I didn't even mean right now. Y'all copy and paste it, though. Y'all copy and paste it. I don't care. Y'all copy and paste it. <laughs> Y'all definitely. Y'all definitely just copied and pasted that. Like, why y'all lying? Why y'all lying like y'all ain't copy and paste that? <laughs> okay. We gonna try it one more time. I was not paying attention. The first person to spell Massachusetts right now. <laughs> Who is it? Who is it gonna be? Who is it gonna be? Who is it gonna be? Oh, oh, lilac, lilac. I said lilac. What? Lilac. Okay, lilac. Nah, lilac was first. Lilac was first. Yo, lilac. What's your cash out? What's your cash out, lilac? What's your cash out? <laughs> Yo, what's your cash up, Lilac? What's going on? Oh, this is delayed, y'all. I'm really sitting here waiting like, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Lilac, where are you? I only, dang, you know what? I only have, Venmo. what's your Venmo then? What's your Venmo? What's your Venmo? <laughs> Wait, do I even have a Venmo? <laughs> I was going to be first, but hesitated. Dang, why are you hesitating? Why are you hesitating? What you hesitating for? You gotta just go for it. You gotta keep on going. You gotta take a risk. You gotta take a risk. Mm -mm. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Lilac, where are you? Where is your Venmo? Where is your cash? Oh, 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 I'm gonna take a picture. I got you, sis. Or bro, Lilac could go either way. I'm pretty sure Lilac is a flower. Let's see. Is lilac a flower? Lilac. Lilac. Yes, lilac. Syringa. Syringa is a, is a genus of 12 currently recognized species of flowering woody plants in the olive family. 
It's a pretty flower. Look at the pretty lilac. Y'all see? Oh, that kind of look like popcorn. <laughs> <laughs> that kind of looked like popcorn on this thing. <laughs> Love your energy. How don't you have many friends? Well, mm, well, thank you so much. First of all, first of all, second of all, I can be shy sometimes. I can definitely be shy sometimes. Like I can be. It's it's like okay. If I'm around people that I know and then we meet random people, I'm fine. But if I'm like 100% by myself, sometimes I'm not like, sometimes I definitely hesitate to open up all the way. And I think that scares people off. And then people are always saying things about like my, I guess how I come off. They're like, I thought you were going to be me. And I'm like, why? Why? I was scared of you. And I'm like, what did I do? Maybe I have to smile more. <laughs> Jeez. Somebody say you never act shy with us. I feel like I act shy every freaking time I come on live, y'all. Like, I don't think you guys get it. I be so <laughs> anxious <laughs> when I get on live. Because I'm like, oh, my God. People are looking at me. It's so much energy. Uh, uh. But it's different. But if this was, like, in person, I'd probably be a little bit, I'd probably be a little bit more nervous. Like, if I saw all y'all in front of me right now, y'all was just looking at me, and y'all was just saying, Massachusetts, Massachusetts, Massachusetts. I'll be like, okay, everyone, calm down. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> uh, they're intimidated us by Leo. You're so shy, too. I'm, I've gotten out of my shyness a lot, though. I have definitely have been more outgoing, and I've... I'm definitely, it's, it's weird. I'm definitely the type of person that will definitely talk to people randomly on the street and will ask me questions about their life. So it's, it's weird. Something going on there. Something's happening there. <laughs> Lilacs are beautiful flowers. Yes, they are. Yes, one, 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 one. Okay. One, 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 one. Yes. Two, 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 I love it. 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 For somebody that just said it, I love ninth house synastries, eighth house, even though it could be a little intense, but you know, I got Venus in the eighth house, so I love that shit, okay? And I also like me some fifth house, okay? Because I'll be having fun with them motherfuckers, okay? I got a resting bitch face, but I'm nice as fuck. I think I do too. I think I do too. But you know, every time I've been going out recently, people have just been giving me so many compliments. And I'm like, oh my God, like, shut up. Like, thanks. Like, oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Girl, the way you talk, everything is, oh my God, stop, 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 stop. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Yes, you can ask any question you want. I'm here for a little bit. I'm here for a little bit. I'm definitely here for a little bit. How long I've been on here? <laughs> I've been on here for an hour. How do you separate God and spiritualism? I'm a Christian, by the way, but I love this stuff too. <laughs> well, well, if you think about it. I, t I, like, I was just talking about this the other day. It's God or Jesus, Jesus himself is the biggest wizard that we all know. <laughs> Jesus himself was walking on water. Jesus himself was doing alchemy. Okay, trans uh, taking water and turning it into wine. Jesus himself was being was following the stars, astrology, and all that type of stuff. Jesus know how to, Jesus was raising people from the dead. Okay. And Jesus is the biggest wizard that we know. But the thing about it is, a lot of us don't understand. I'm going to make a whole video about this, too. A lot, of, but a lot of people don't understand that our spirit, our spirituality, our psychic gifts, these are, this is stuff that is inherent in us, and it's in every single one of us. You know what I'm saying? So it's not just a lot of people, you know, they get stuck when they think that Jesus is something outside, and Jesus is the only people that can do this when we was technically all made in God's image, right? So we all kind of have those powers and those gifts within us. But you see, people, certain people don't actually want you to know that because honestly, 
I mean, I get it. If everybody knew they can do stuff like raising the dead and like turning water into wine and doing all types of stuff, a lot of us would be very powerful. And some people do not have the best intentions, but certain powers that be do not also have the best intentions. But, you know, they trying to have that power. So they ain't about to tell you that you got that power too. Shoot. Imagine everybody out here knowing that they can do they can do some superhuman stuff. Man, y'all worried about guns. People gonna be looking at people and sending negativity. Like, <clears throat> Next thing you know, <gasps> and like people they start melting or something. We all got superpower guns, okay? But if you have a love for it, you I'm I'm personally not Christian. But I think that if you, there is a difference between like the religion and also spirituality. So getting in tune with the spirit of Jesus, okay? And understanding, like, I think you could study like the mist, look up the mystical story from Jesus to Christ. The mystical story from Jesus to Christ, that's a good book. And also, if I'm not mistaken, what is it called? There's a lot of religions that are technically Christian, but they embrace more of the spiritual and mystical aspects of that, you know, side of things. So, you know, girl, boy, you know what I'm saying? Like, you can you can embrace what you want to embrace and still be, like, doing what you got to do. Like, it's about what feels right with you or whatever. You feel me? It's about what makes you feel good. <laughs> what makes you feel good, okay? <laughs> what turns you on? <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much, baby. Thank you so much, Miss Official. I have nothing else to do, so I love being here. Shit. Welcome to the club, girl. <laughs> we. I don't think there's a hurricane going on outside. The hurricane was supposed to. The hurricane was supposed to been happening, but it's not happening right now. So. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> I literally got a message. It's like it was like one of those Amber Alerts, and I was like, "Yo, somebody else got stolen. What kid got stolen today?" But they was like, "Oh no, it's a hurricane coming. Get all your stuff, pack your bags. You know, make sure you go to Publix and get your stuff." And I was like, "Dang, you could fit all this effort. How you talking about Publix on a on a on an app? I mean, on the little alert thing. What about Whole Foods?" <laughs> I was like, "What is going on?" Am I at a hotel? Yeah. I was telling everybody earlier, just so y'all know, this hotel is a little bit haunted or whatever. <laughs> so I told everybody this. If you follow me on Instagram, at it's baby J, you saw my story and you saw that we, me and my cousin literally got locked in our room. We could not get outside the room. They had to break down the door and everything. For like, it took like an hour for us to get outside this room. We was stuck in here. Okay. And then I had that experience where I was like, shaking and I couldn't stop shaking and then I heard the door slam and then it's my as soon as it slammed I stopped shaking and I was normal again and then I went and my cousin said oh I didn't even I was sitting down I ain't slammed no door I was like did then what, what was that slam noise this hotel is crazy okay this hotel is absolutely crazy mm. <laughs> Do you consider raising the dead a part of black magic? I grew up in a Christian family and always knew that my great great grandma, grandma practiced Santeria and even her stories of her bringing people back to. Girl, that's tea. That's tea. Because let me tell you something. You know what my grandmother told me um, yesterday? My grandma was like, something that you said to me, my grandma's a very, she's a very Christian woman. But she said I was a seer. And she said one thing. When I was a kid, when I was three, just three years old, my cousin had died. And she said when I was looking, basically, you know, I was at her funeral when I was a little kid, three years old. Three, she said. She said, I looked at my cousin when she was dead in her casket. And I said, why don't we all just pray for her so we can bring her back to life? That came out of my mouth at three years old. Why don't we all do that so we can basically resurrect her out? How does a three-year-old know about that? What does a three-year-old know about that, Lid? And ever since that day, my grandmother told me, she was like, it's, it's, she, told, she said that it stuck with her because she feels as though I have that gift and ability. 
I think you call it necromancy. And I've always been somebody who's been fascinated by those type of things. So I definitely think that in terms of like viewing it as evil, black magic, I don't think that's true. Like, I don't like if we, if we let's like, you know, let's debunk black magic. We need, to, we need to stop associating, you know, darkness with evil and stuff of that nature, just in case if any of y'all do that, because that doesn't necessarily have to mean black magic doesn't automatically mean evil. OK, it's just more heavier arts, <laughs> the dark arts. Right. They're heavier. They're more intense than like, oh, yeah, let me light a white candle. Positivity. You know, <laughs> black magic is a little bit more intense. It's a little deep. It's a little it's a little, you know what I'm saying? We're dealing with death and stuff. So, I mean, yeah, but I definitely think that um, I definitely think that necromancy is definitely real. And I think that you could you can resurrect people from the dead. I was literally just thinking about how could I how could I have thought about that when I was younger? And I, it, it reminds me that we were all so closer to our spirits. We, ha we had nothing to fear. We had no programming when we were little, when we were kids. A lot of us, when we were kids, we were naturally in tune with the spiritual realm because we just left there. We just left there. You know what I'm saying? We didn't get the chance to be introduced to all this societal programming. This is right. This is wrong. This is real. This is not real. So when we're kids, we're pure and we're open. We're more open to our imagination. We're more open to all these type things, right? So I think that we're so connected to who we are and our truth when we're kids. You know what I'm saying? So I definitely think that it is real and it's something that can happen. And when I was meditating on it, on it today and recently, all you would have to do is you would just be just just understand that we're all made up of energy. Right. And that life force energy is what keeps us alive. So if somebody dies, all a person would have to do is be able to channel someone else's life force energy from another realm and bring it back to their body. And channel it back to their body. And I know that sounds out there, but it, it could happen. You, if people can, like, I don't know if y'all know about channelers and stuff of that nature, but people can literally, like, channel other spirits and other entities and, like, you know, basically be possessed by those type of people. So if you could do that, all you have to do is take somebody else's spirit and channel it back into their body. So technically, I think that you, I think that you could. I'm going to clock out, Jay. It was nice. Modding for your chat. I'm going to watch the rest tomorrow. It's meditation time. Aw, love you too, girl. Love you too. Make sure. Okay. Have a great day. Have a great night. Have a great meditation. But yeah, I think it's definitely possible. Healing is definitely possible. If y'all know, um, Reiki healing, you can literally heal with the energy coming out of the palm of your hands. Like, so possible. I do it all the time. I, I, I just saw a Reiki um, healer. What was it, last week? Yeah, I saw one in this. And uh, she lives in um, Florida, in Bradenton. And I went to her. And I could you not, my allergies were going crazy. Because I don't know if y'all can hear it. Like, I have allergies. And... Um, I had bad allergies even in the car driving towards her because she lives like an hour away from my house. And as soon as I step into her, I lay down and she's like, she's putting her hands above me and I feel the energy all in my body. And I'm like, oh, this is what I do to myself sometimes. <laughs> but she was, it was more powerful because I guess she knows what she's doing even more. And I kid you not, I didn't have any allergies for that day at all completely gone and everything. And I was like, yo, it's crazy. Learn it. But from that day, I knew I have to learn how to be a Reiki master. Have to do it. Absolutely have to do it. Because I, I learned, I know how to heal myself and I know how to heal basic things. Like when I have a stomach ache, when my throat hurts, when, when I have like a lot of energy in some place or there's a blockage somewhere, I feel it and I heal it. But when it comes to like doing that on a daily basis and knowing how to do that on other people, almost like instantly and really learning how to trust myself, I got to learn how to be a Reiki master. Got to learn how to do it. Got to get certified. Absolutely. I, was, I fell in love. I fell in love. 
how have you been doing pyrokinesis? Um, when it comes to pyrokinesis, I still, I'm gonna be real with y'all. For a while, I felt super blocked from my intuitive gifts and not just like my psychic ability when it comes to like being able to know things. That was, that wasn't a hundred percent gone, but I just felt blocked spiritually for a while. <clears throat> and every time when I would try to like, you know, get involved with candles and like try to move the flame and do a lot of stuff, I couldn't. And for some reason I couldn't tap into things how I, as I used to. And I was like, yo, what's going on? And it's really simple. One thing I started to realize, it was my hair. It was my hair. I wasn't taking care of my hair. I had, I always had, I always had my hair covered. Okay. I wasn't really treating it with love. And the person that was touching my hair all the time, she wasn't one that was that had the best energy. And you know, your hair is your ori. Your hair is your connection that you have to your crown chakra. You block your crown chakra, you block your connection to spirit. <laughs> so literally, I was trying to, I was having trouble tapping into my energies and any energy. And I was wondering why, but it's when I started wearing my hair out again, connecting with my hair, really taking care of my hair and like really embracing like, you know, cause I don't know if y'all know, I made the 4C hair video and stuff of that nature, but embracing my beautiful 4C hair and stuff of that nature, that's when my ability started to come back. And I'm like, yes, yes, my hair. So all of you guys, whether you have curly hair, whether you have straight hair, whatever the case is, take care of your hair, show your hair love, and then like rub your hands and do the energy exercise that I, I showed you guys before or in my videos. And then literally put it all in your hair, like put good energy in your hair every single day because your hair is literally like the connection, the antennas that you have to your spirit and to the higher realms and stuff of that nature. So love your hair. It's not, it's more than just like an aesthetic. That's why you have cultures that literally did never cut their hair. Like when you look at certain indigenous cultures, they would have hair all the way down their bodies in the braids and stuff. And there's a reason why after we go through a lot of traumatic experiences or heavy breakups, what do we want to do? We want to shut, we want to cut our hair off because we want a new start. Your hair is powerful. And you know, you also don't want just random people touching your hair either, like people that you don't know, because that's, think of your hair as your crown chakra. Your crown chakra literally is the connection that you have to spirit. So if you have a bunch of random people touching your hair and getting all up in your hair and stuff, those people are getting all up in your head, in your thoughts, in your spirit. So, you know what I'm saying? Definitely just keep those things in mind. Take care of your hair and don't just let anybody be touching your hair because mm-mm. Because there'll be certain times where I let people touch my hair. And like, and some people, they don't even know what they do unconsciously. And some people do. Some people out here really are ruthless. <laughs> spiritual, like literal spiritual vampires. But they literally want to touch your hair, grab all your energy. And then you wonder why you feel tired. You wonder why you feel depressed. You wonder why you feel depleted. You wonder, you wonder why you have all these heavy thoughts and stuff. Because whoever was touching your hair wasn't right for you. Not supposed to be touching your hair. I have to look at this right here because it will fall off. Okay, but just make sure it's the right people. Make sure it's the right people. Because the right pe the wrong people touching your hair, the wrong people touching your hair will make your hair fall out. <laughs> okay. Yes, you do have healing abilities. Yes, girl, you better tap into your healing abilities. Does getting rid of hair get rid of negative energy? Um, it depends. It depends. If you feel into it's kind of like when people get like um they get locks and then sometimes they decide they just decide to cut all their locks off. You know what I'm saying? Or if you feel like I want a new beginning, I want to cleanse, you can cut your hair off. It depends. And that's why a lot of us, even spiritually, a lot of us have the big chop. We just cut our hair off and stuff of that nature and you start again. It's kind of like, it does kind of like purge your energy, but though it does sometimes leave you vulnerable. So you definitely, when you cut your hair, you want to make sure that you are having, um, you do a protection ritual either during or right afterwards so that you can also protect yourself because when your hair, when you freshly cut your hair, you're vulnerable. So you wanna make sure you're taking care of your crown and taking care of your energy and stuff of that nature. <laughs> when the Karens at work try to touch my hair, I'll be like, uh-uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't let random people touch your hair. No, 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 no. 
No. No, no, no. <laughs> he said, no more hairdressers for you. Yeah. And even, um, I was even talking about like, okay, in the wish community, y'all, your hair, any physical particle on your, like your hair, your skin, your blood, okay, your fingernails, all these things can be used in spell work and stuff. So you don't want to just have your hair lying around. <laughs> Anybody can have access to your hair. Mm -mm. At, no, ma'am, no, sir. Keep your hair to yourself. Yes. Keep your hair to yourself. Legit. Legit. <laughs> wow. I have to wait until I feel more confident to cut my hair because it makes me insecure. Oh. Listen, girl, what do you have? Whether you have a bald head, you have hair all the way down, you're freaking back. You beautiful. And listen, your head gonna be shining. <laughs> your head gonna be shining just like your soul, girl. Just like your soul, girl. Let it shine. <laughs> Let it shine. What's what's the girl that just cut off her hair? Tiffany Haddish. I don't know if y'all know her. Like Tiffany Haddish, she just said, you know what? Shave, shave. I'm just going to do it all over. That's a spiritual experience. That's a spiritual experience when we just feel like we got to start it all over again. Yeah, and like, I like wearing wigs. Like, this is a wig right here. I know it don't look like it. But I like wearing wigs, too, because it does protect your energy. That's why people wrap their hair. Like, in different cultures, people will literally wrap their hair, keep it covered, because they don't want to be, you know, exposed to a bunch of energies. And then when they come home, they can let their hair down. And stuff of that nature. What about the wigs we wear? Other people's hair. Cleanse it. Any wig you have, any wig that you get, cleanse it. Okay? So make sure you cleanse it, sage it, smudge it. Because, you know, you don't want to hold on to other people's energies. Because human hair comes from real human people. Then it gets processed and all that type of stuff. Faggery and everything. Like, you want to you wanna cleanse it. Okay, get your sage out and be like, I cleanse these bundles, I cleanse these bundles, I cleanse this wig, I cleanse this wig, I cleanse the bundles. Oh, da, 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 you want to get in the spirit? I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> you better sage them bundles. Yes, wrap your hair sometimes. Wrap your hair, especially when you go into like hectic environments where it's lots of people. Cover your hair, wear a wig. Wear, your, wear a wig. Oh, thank you for the donation. Hood chosen one to live in. Thank you. But yeah, literally, wrap up your hair, cover your hair, and wear a scarf. Do what you got to do. <laughs> I wish I had the courage to shave my head. Man, you going you if you just do it, you going to learn to get the courage today. You can you can't have nothing but courage once you just do it. I didn't even know that China is flooding right now. I had no idea. I got to research Oh, love from Argentina. Oh my God. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Feel the vibes. Feel the vibes. But yeah, y'all. I'm gonna go. I've been on here. I'll be back. I'll be back. Um, everyone have a beautiful, blessed day. I'm sending everyone in this chat, everyone watching this video and who has watched this video, who will watch this video, I'm sending you nothing but love and abundance all 2020 and beyond. Nothing but beautiful transformations, gifts and blessings, stuff that could completely change your life for the better. I'm wishing that every single one of you discovers your freaking abilities and your inner power and, and all the abundance in the world and you realize all your gifts and potential, period. ASAP, period, Ashe, boom. Love y'all so much. Love y'all so much. Yes, have a great night. Oh, I feel all your energy right now. Oh, I feel all your energy right now. Oh, but yeah, y'all. I feel y'all right in my in my heart and like my, my lower back. I feel y'all. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> See y'all later. Love you guys so much. I'll see y'all. Bye.